Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is a cloudy, rainy day today, which I am so excited about. It's actually supposed to rain for like the next week or so. So I feel like a lot of upcoming vlogs you are going to see are rainy and cozy. I'm sure a lot of you <laughs> live in like a normal climate where, you know, rain is maybe not something you look forward to or get excited about, but oh man, I love it. When I lived in Tennessee though, the rain would, you know, depress me a lot, D depending on when it was and how long it rained and stuff. It would get kind of depressing and I'd be like, when is the sun gonna come out again? So I fully get it, but you know, living in a place where it doesn't rain that often, it's exciting. So I'm actually getting ready, as you can see by my hair, um, I'm fully ready to leave. I'm heading out the door here in just a few minutes because I am getting my nails done. I was actually going to do it yesterday, which was the last vlog that you all saw when I was out and about. I just pulled my lashes like way too hard with that thing. That was not good, but they couldn't fit me in yesterday. So I am going today. It's like just before 10 a.m. I have no idea what I'm getting done, but all I know is these nails have gone way too long. I usually go like every three weeks, but these are just atrocious. They were really cute and fun while they lasted, like the fun sparkles, but we need to change it up immediately. I have one that's like basically coming off, so yeah, it's time. Maybe we'll look at Pinterest ideas or something like that and get some inspo. That's typically where I'll look for like nail inspo when I don't really know what to do, so maybe I'll do that. Just throwing on some mascara. I just have some like tinted moisturizer on, a little bit of concealer, bronzer. I actually do really need to wash my hair, which is why I'm gonna wear a hat when I go out today. And I want to try out like a bunch of new hair products, so maybe we'll do that here in a little bit. Not sure if that interests any of you, but that's exciting to me. I have been doing some editing this morning. I edited the last vlog that you all just saw, and I have some main channel editing to do as well, so I'll do that when I get back. But it's so hard because when it's cloudy outside, all you want to do is just like lay in bed and and do nothing, you know, or like sit on the couch and watch movies, but I will persevere because the content ain't gonna edit itself. This mascara is not doing enough for me, so I need to add some more. I'm gonna add some. I was using the Maybelline Sky High mascara, which is one of my faves, but I feel like I need more volume, so I'm gonna add some of this Ilia volumizing. I can't use the Ilia one by itself though because it smears like all over my eyes if I do. It's just not good on its own for my particular face. Anyways, I'm blabbing. Okay, let's see what we can do with this hair. <sighs> There's still so much gel in my hair from yesterday. I have to be very gentle because I have extensions or something in my eye. And this is my hairstyle for the day. I'm gonna throw on some earrings. We'll just pop on some little gold hoops. What is going on here? I've got my little tank top and matching hoodie from Parallel Apparel. I did a main channel video reviewing like YouTuber clothing brands. And it's my first time wearing this one out today. And then I just have my... <laughs> my airy sweatpants on. These are really comfortable and they shed a lot, but they're cute. All right, let's get in the car, head out the door and go get these nails done. Queen of the long intros here. <laughs> Hi, welcome. That, I tell you what, with as a person with ADHD, going to the nail salon, oh my god. <sighs> going to the nail salon is like the largest test in patience. That took an hour and a half. I don't understand, it was just a fill. I'm so confused. It's like a hard gel fill, but the person who did my nails was very meticulous and did a great job, so no complaints here. Went for like a little blue moment, something springy and fun, why not, on this just beautiful spring day. I was listening to the Back to the Beach podcast, which is the Laguna Beach rewatch podcast with Kristen and Steven, loved that. But I actually think I'm gonna save some of those episodes because I have like a 12 hour plane ride coming up in a few weeks. And so I think I might like watch a Laguna Beach episode and then like listen to the podcast um, while I'm on the plane. That might be something fun to do. So yeah, I am going to maybe stop and get some lunch on the way because it's only like 11.40, but I'll probably get hungry in like an hour or so. So I might stop and get myself like a sweet green bowl. Although I do have stuff to make that at home. So maybe I'll just do that instead. That's the biggest like 
freaking flex of control as an adult is knowing that you have food at home, but like wanting to pick up food when you're out. Anyways, okay, let's head home. All right, we are out of the bath. Yes, I did take another bath. Um, I would sit in the bathtub for hours and hours and hours every day if I could, like honestly. I think I sat in there for like two hours, almost. And I felt like no time at all. It's kind of concerning. But anyways, it's time to make lunch. I think I'm in the mood for, I think I showed this in a recent vlog, but I'm in the mood for like a spicy chicken sandwich, which is funny because I haven't made one since I made that vlog, but whatever. I'm talking like cafeteria style chicken patties. So I got these spicy chicken patties. I don't know if they're good or not. I'm gonna throw one in the air fryer and we're gonna have that for lunch. It just sounds really good. <laughs> In case you're wondering what Moo's hyperfixation spot of the week is, it's here. <laughs> Drew put a chair next to his desk. It was the couch in our bedroom for a while. It was the couch itself in our living room the last couple of weeks. Nope. It's sometimes under the covers in our bed, but as of today, he will be here for the foreseeable. And he's done that too. Oh. He's opened the closet to get excited. Stay <laughs> in the life of Moo. I'm talking about you. Do you have anything to say? Okay. And look who's looking a lot better. Hi, and you're going free. That little pink spot on her eyelid is where they took the tumor off and it's actually gonna stay pink for like the next four weeks or so um, until like the original color of her eyelid comes back. But she's going free. She did it. Let's go outside, come on. All right, that's almost done. It has like less than a minute left. So I've already shown you this, but here's what I do. It's basically like a McDonald's McChicken, like a spicy McChicken. And we have this iceberg lettuce that I need to use. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of mayonnaise. You can't do too much. I'm gonna do like a little bit. I mean, is that a lot? I don't know. And then I actually like dip it in ranch. It's really the only thing I eat ranch with, except maybe like boneless barbecue wings. And we're gonna do a little bit of iceberg lettuce. That was way too much, but whatever. I'm gonna wait for that to come out. And then on the side, I'm gonna do a few baby carrots and some crackers and some bitchin' sauce. I was gonna do chips, but we're out of them. And also, I wanna use up this stuff. Oh, there it is. We'll do, these are the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. They're pretty good. So I'll do a few of those. And then we'll put our patty. She's a beaut. And I'm gonna do a little bit of bitchin' sauce. This is kind of a very random lunch, but whatever. I'm still a little nervous of like what I've been eating because I did have an IBS flare up yesterday. I don't really talk about that a lot because it's like, you know. But if you have it, you feel me, you understand. Um, so I'm just like, I don't know, for me it's like sometimes things will be fine and then other times things will be absolutely not fine. So like, for example, I've seen some people say that like vegetables or super fibrous things or whatever will give them a flare up, but for me it doesn't. And like I've drank 12 Olipops in the last few weeks and I've been fine, but now I'm convinced that like Olipop is gonna, anyways, I don't know, it's a whole thing. But on that note, let's make ourselves an Olipop. Let's see what we've got left. We have a ginger lemon, we have a tropical punch and a strawberry vanilla, I think. Hmm. Tropical punch is like one of my favorites, so I think we're gonna go with that. I also love the orange something, orange cream, orange twist. I love the grape. I love them all, so okay. We will put it in a cute little cup with some pebble ice, of course. Don't mind this jacket sitting on the counter next to me that is out as a reminder that I need to like repolish this or basically I washed it and then I bought some like leather conditioner and I only did one side of it and I need to do the other side. So we'll get to that. Oh, so satisfying, I love this ice. I'm in a honeymoon phase again with this ice maker, but when it ultimately breaks again, I'll hate it again. There is our very thrown together lunch that I'm going to quite enjoy while I watch some YouTube videos and then we will catch up and style this hair and see how it goes. It's a little while later, my hair is still wet. We're gonna go do it in a second, but I just got a call from Layla's ophthalmology office and her lab results came back and her tumor was benign, yay! 
So she doesn't have like any kind of cancer that we know of and it's unlikely to spread throughout the rest of her body. So that's amazing. So excited about that. She's cone free and as of really yesterday, she's been cone free and she's healing super nicely. And I'm just like, ugh, I feel like I can finally take a breath and just breathe and relax some of the anxiety that I've had over the last week. It has been the most stressful seven days that I've had since probably like the pandemic when she got her leg surgery or maybe when she got her teeth pulled i'm not sure but anyways i'm so happy so all right anyway just thought i would share that bit of good news let's do this hair i'm determined okay all right i'm determined to do like a cute 90s blowout today if it's the last thing i do i'm gonna achieve this look okay i've been trying for so long and i saw an instagram video recently of like a tutorial and i was like i'm gonna try that i actually ordered a few products when i got my extensions that were recommended by the stylist List. I used the clarifying shampoo and conditioner and I really really liked it. I'll show you Not sponsored at all whatsoever, but all of these pretty much are by Daveness I think is how you say it and so I used the clarifying shampoo called Solu Solu and then the like deep repairing conditioner called Melu I don't know who, what these names are, but anyways, these were both great, recommend them. And now I'm also gonna do the OI, OI All-in-One Milk. And I think it's just like a leave-in conditioner. I think I'm supposed to actually just spray it on my hair. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. <laughs> Does feel nice and hydrating. And then what I'm gonna do is use the JVN Complete Blowout Styling Milk. And this was what I bought in the last vlog. I saw someone on Instagram use this and it seems really, really good. So you're supposed to apply it on damp hair. I mean, my hair is like wet to damp. It's been air drying for like, I don't know, the last 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Use like two pumps. I don't really know how much to use, but that looks about right. And then I'm gonna run it like at my roots a little bit and then throughout the ends. This feels very hydrating. So I'm confused as to how this will help with the blowout and like holding it. I feel like I definitely will probably need a mousse. But we're gonna try, so let's see. And now we go in with the blow dryer. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair like 90% probably, and then we'll go from there. All right, now we've got the rough dry done. I'm going to separate my hair, which is gonna be hard because I have extensions and they're weird. I actually don't know if the extension life is for me. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might get these removed pretty soon. It's only been like four weeks, but I think I'm over it. I just, it's, it's not my fave. So, okay, we'll pin this up, cute. And then we'll start with the bottom layer and we're gonna use the bigger of the two, like, curling wands and we'll see how this goes. So, sorry this is loud, but you take a little bit. Wait, it's so hard to do without a mirror. <laughs> I'm using the viewfinder. And do a little cool shot. And there we have it. And I'm just gonna repeat this, so let's do it. Then you take the rest of the hair down and do the rest of it except the front section. So you like take the front section like this. We're gonna make a cute little <laughs> bangs bun moment. Adorable, love that. And then do these top sections, which I'm gonna need a mirror for, so we gotta move this around, hold on. All right, we've got this done. Something is just telling me like instinct wise that I should spray this because my hair doesn't hold blow dryer curls very well. It holds curling iron curls for literal days, but we'll just try that. This is the Flex Hairspray by Living Proof. It says medium hold. So, okay. Then you're supposedly you're supposed to unclip the bangs and do them separately with the round brush attachment. I think my problem has been curling my bangs too tight, so we'll see. I don't know. Okay, 
Okay, you know what? This doesn't look bad. I am just gonna like run my fingers through my hair to just sort of make it less like Shirley Temple-ish. But um, hello, this is so cute. Just fun to try something different too, you know? Should I like flip my hair upside down? I feel like that's what I see people do. I don't know. I mean, this is cute. We'll see how this lasts. I will update you as time goes on, but like, not bad. This is as close as I've gotten yet. There's like a couple random pieces that just don't really want to hold, but other than that, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna add some of this oi oil. This is from Davines. I think this is just kind of like a finishing touch product type of thing, and I just want to keep it nice and like shiny and healthy looking, especially these front bits that are like, you know, completely fried. But that is pretty dang good. Like that's as good as it's been yet. So I'm happy. Round of applause for myself. All of this stuff smells so freaking good. Anyway, I think now is the time of night where Drew and I sit on the couch, watch Love Island, relax together, unwind, and unplug. So I am going to leave you here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know how you feel about these vlogs that are kind of like all just in one day, like hanging out with me for the day, or if you prefer like multiple days in a vlog, because I kind of like just hanging out in a day type of thing, but let me know what you think. I'll link all of the products that I use down in the description box below to get this too, by the way in case you're curious. I do think a lot of it will have to do with like how my hair gets cut in the future because my hair is kind of like all one length, but honestly, not bad. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.